Hey guys, this week in the rundown, we have the latest on the E-4 through E-6 quotas. We're talking about advancement with the Deputy of the Navy's Enlisted Plans and Policy Office, and leaders can expect to receive training on the new blended retirement system. Congratulations to the nearly 20,000 active duty, FTS, and reserve sailors selected to advance this week. Names of those who advance are on Navy.mil. We have the opportunity to talk with Commander Derek Poe, the Deputy in the Navy's Enlisted Plans and Policy Office on Advancements. He talked about this cycle, why quotas rise and fall, and ways sailors can improve their chances to advance. Here's some of that interview. Well, the rise and fall of the advancement quotas is all determined about vacancies in the fleet, uh, current and planned vacancies. So we work closely with the community manager down in uh, Milton to identify where those vacancies are and set our quotas to make sure we, we meet the vacancies in the fleet to keep you know, uh, community health good. Right, right. Finally, Navy leaders will soon begin training on the new blended retirement system so they can understand the new system before sailors are introduced to it. The training covers three elements of the new retirement plan, a 401k component, a continuity bonus, and retirement annuity. The blended retirement system will replace the current one for those entering the military beginning January 1, 2018. Remember, all currently serving sailors are grandfathered into today's retirement system. Well, that's all for this week. For any questions, send us a message at usnpeople at gmail.com. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. Thanks for watching. <laughs>